lovers in the world, lovers of selves, lovers of people, lovers of just love. If you're like me and you're a hopeless romantic, hit the wine glass. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn, I'm hot already. This is what happens when you wear this type of material. <laughs> It's literally for old ladies, you know what I'm saying? And I've embraced my age. I'm about to be 42 March 10th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And let me tell you some armpits got to, if not, they're going to be wet like they was during our last show. You know what I'm saying? I got the air out between the thighs. The ad. That's why I don't understand how y'all got a big asses at 40-something years old. As much as we sweat, premenopause, I know that thing down there musty. Do not play. All right, y'all, listen, please say a prayer for Jasmine. She got something going on. I don't know what it is. All I know is I don't want it because we're going on tour here, and I don't need no cough, and I don't need to be on nobody's stage. <coughs> she been doing that all down and told her to stay at the house. She don't want to listen. How are you guys doing today, lovers of lovers? Yes, we're good. Listen, just in case, they said, wait a minute, hold on. What was it y'all talking about in the comments? Happy Valentine's Day. I love it. I love it. I love it. I look older than 42. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hold on for a second. People must, y'all really think I care. <laughs> y'all really think I give e damn about which I I do not care. As long as y'all are here entertained, whether you're roasting me or roasting some of the people that we're roasting, hey, you're here, subscribe paying the bills, and having a wonderful time. So before we get into our full show, okay? <sighs> Boy, we're going to be talking about these dating apps today. Definitely going to be talking about child support. All right, there's a new law that's been passed. All right. Uh, oh, man. Uh, uh, let me see. Who else we got? I don't even know who that is. The View host. Oh, my God. This is a really intense show today. Jada Pinkett. Usher and his wife. We're talking about Usher. We're talking about Jermaine Dupree. We're talking about Ludacris, Little John, T Pain, Shannon Sharp. I'm sorry, Netta versus Mike Epps. Definitely gonna be discussing Dr. Umar Johnson. Oh, a lady, a woman ran up on him, and she looked like the woman that we interviewed. Okay, and so he's saying he don't know that lady. We shall see, okay? Now, real quick, before we get into our topics, all right, we must tell you about the tour. We are officially going on tour starting March 3rd. Our first city is Naples, Florida, all right? After that, we got Atlanta. We got Indianapolis, Indiana. We have Baltimore. I'm really saying these in order. So y'all make sure y'all get y'all tickets, okay? April 7th in Indianapolis, March 10th for my birthday in Atlanta, we're also going to Baltimore more, uh, Balt I said Baltimore more, <laughs> Baltimore, Maryland, April 14th, San Francisco, which is Pleasanton, California. I put San Francisco because it is 40 minutes from Pleasanton, all right, the nearest airport therefore, okay? April 21st, Virginia Beach, May 12th for Mother's Day, Charlotte, North Carolina, May 26th. Y'all are really selling out Charlotte. I'm like, oh, I'm looking at them. I'm like, y'all are not playing. Okay, shout out to Charlotte. Tampa, Florida, June 9th, June 16th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Also going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina, okay, on June 30th, Orlando, Florida, July 14th, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, September 15th. And we got two more dates, including Houston. Houston is going to be where we close out the tour, okay? And so um, it's going to be our official Wino weekend. We're going to have a weekend of festivities. And so even if you came to the Charlotte a show or you came to the Tampa show, you could still stop by in Houston because it's going to be a whole weekend with the thing, 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 things. And Teddy is coming to all of the shows, okay? So he's going to be dancing and popping bottles with y'all. Just watch. Don't play with me, okay? Now, before we get into our first topic, first couple of topics, we definitely got to tell you what's coming up on TashaKLive.com. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show you these trailers, and then we'll be right back after the break. Happy Valentine's Day. Why is it so damn hot in here? Go, Jasmine, check. I want the night for me and you. So come here, baby, and let me do it to you. So what happened 
over time was that um, so much rejection. So like for every role that you get, you also get 50 rejections, right? I had a, like a, a tight group of girlfriends, which I'm very proud of. Like my friends from 13 to about say 35 or 36, like we rolled pretty, pretty deep. And um, they started all talking crap about me one night when I was off doing a movie and they said, we just don't get it. Like, how did she make it? Like, she's not even pretty. This is a real conversation that they had. I've been marginalized in this trailer park piece of garbage. And it's like, wow, it's so funny because I've been accepted into Juilliard on a full ride ballet scholarship. I've traveled the world five times. I'm not white trash. Is a, the gold juicy elixir, the atonement, live forever, um, that I could have whatever I wanted. And I said, nothing in my life's come that easy for me. I'm not gonna drink some juice and then suddenly I have everything I've ever wanted. You don't treat people very well all the time on set. You're very cerebral, very different, very hard to like even navigate around. Um, you've been very blessed. Like, what are you doing right now? Are you hiding something? Are you guilty about something? Are you making sure everyone's looking over there so they don't look over here, Terrence? I'll say it to his face, he knows how I feel. I asked him to pay me, I was never paid for that movie. Hustle and flow. All right, winos, if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me at Naples, Florida, March 3rd at the Off The Hook Comedy Club and March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and Teddy, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. <laughs> Hit the wine glass. He had to go get me some water. Now, you, as you can see, I'm still peeling a little bit, so that's a little dark. I can't wear any makeup. I'm not actually wearing no makeup until I hit the tour, so y'all could just get over it, okay? I don't give a damn. And I'm going to sit down today. Since it's Lover's Day, I want us to be real intimate, and we can still roast and gag that way, all right? So let's go ahead and start it. So dating apps, they have literally scored a victory. Mm -hmm. So apparently, this new dating app... We got, is isn't there a video for it? No? Okay, hold on for a second. Give me one second. Apparently these dating apps now are able to check your credit. Now they say they're doing this for women. They said that anytime, uh, you know, these women are, you know, they're, they're, they're ultimately, uh, women are the biggest customers, okay? And it is the biggest love day. And to ensure that you are not going to get a scrub, a dusty, what do they call them? Beta males, uh, broke, I can't say the N word. They are going to ensure that you guys uh, know their credit score. And in order to join, they're gonna take it a lot further. In order to join, you have to have a 675 credit score. And that's pretty good. That'll get you an FHA, FHA loan, okay? So if he ain't got no house and he joins the app and says he doesn't have a house or can't qualify for a house and he has a credit score of 675, that's a problem. He's probably using a CPN. They have a lot of those in Atlanta, okay? I just, I forgot to even add this story. There was a story I was supposed to add about these squatters. They hit a lick in Atlanta. These squatters hit 1,800 houses. 1,800 houses they claim ownership to. It took them about three to four years to catch them. I said, oh, that's a lick. That's some good living there. And you know, if you know, like I know about living in Atlanta, man, you could be in the nicest neighborhood. Okay, the nicest type of all oh, brick house, sort of gated. You know what I'm saying? The bus stop come right there in front of the house. And on New Year's, on New Year's Eve, your neighbor shoots his wife in the head, okay? And they act like ain't nothing happened. It just happened. It just happened in my in my friend's neighborhood. It really did, okay? And she said, I just bought a house here and I'm trying to sell it. I said, that's that's Atlanta for you, okay? The hood is the, Atlanta is the hood. 
I know too, okay? Atlanta is the hood. No shade. It's just you never know. When they take in Section 8 and, and golf course communities, lakeside communities, I mean, what are, you, what are you supposed to do, okay? You wonder why you got nine school buses in your damn <laughs> neighborhood because this chick next door got nine kids. Yes, okay? So uh, good luck to y'all, and I hope that they're able to make this just a little bit safer, but I think it's just going to make way for the scammers to really scam. Mm -hmm. Or just use a mama credit. Or hell, they, they wife credit. <laughs> Moving on. Mm, mm, mm. It's so funny. I'm trying to sit down. It don't even feel right sitting down. I ain't sat down in so long. It's been months. All right. Child support. Let's talk about this. Okay. So now there's been an update according to uh, Sandra Rose. All right. Uh, you can now get child support when you immediately conceive. So now that it's illegal to get rid of a baby when you conceive, they now want you to know that the fetus is very important and that upon conception, and you know what's so funny? Before I really get into this, I just did an interview with two girls. And I'm a, matter of fact, we got to release this tomorrow. On, can we release it tomorrow on jasminontashkalive.com? It's ready to go. So let me tell you, I did an interview, and this is this is what really made me select this story. It's twins, but they got two different daddies. One came out dark, chocolate like me. Other one came out light skinned with curly hair and biracial. And the mama carried that secret for 13 years and told the dark skinned daughter that her daddy was her uncle. I said, woo. And the only reason they doing the interview is because their mama got dementia. But I loved it. They're winos and everything like that. I said, so what are you doing cases like this, okay? Because I, I don't even know. Can you do a DNA test that early? Can, can you do a DNA test that early to figure out who's the pappy? And claim child support right then because they said that mothers should not have to be dependent on Medicaid at all or any type of welfare to be taking care of these illegitimate kids. Y'all are going to be responsible. They tired and they ain't got no money because they giving it all overseas to, you know, in a side joke. Oh, not the side joke. I said, how you just gonna send money overseas and they, 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 they offering all them people over there, Joe, what you doing? Joe, 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 wake up. What do you do? We need money over here, $95 billion. And we, listen, and you making us take care of our own kids? We live here, Joe. We live here. So y'all have scored a win. So if you are now pregnant or think that you're pregnant right now, you can uh, file for child support right now. You ain't got to wait. You ain't got to have nobody's name on the birth certificate. They'll figure that out at a later date. So you better make sure it's the daddy before they make you run that back. <laughs> They're going to make you run it back, okay? Moving on. Oh, look at the politics. Speaking of politics. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, this is uh, Bishop Robbery's best friend, uh, Eric Ma uh, Yeah, Eric Adams. I almost call him Eric Mayers, okay? So if you're not familiar with Eric Adams, he is the mayor of New York, okay? And so he thought, just like Joe thought it was a great idea. I don't know, is he a Democrat? I don't know, is he? I gotta sit up, y'all. I don't even feel right sitting down. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this too long. I'm a professional now. Ain't no reason to be lazy on lover's day. Let's get into some things, okay? Besides, I've trained my lungs. I've been taking voice lessons and stuff, yelling lessons, making sure I could control and last long, if I gotta do two, three shows in your city, like I'ma do in Atlanta, maybe. I don't know, cause I, want, I really want a party on my birthday. I don't want to be carried out like Beyonce somewhere. You know, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Jasmine, go ahead and roll the video. Go ahead and roll the video. Sorry, sorry. You remember that song, Where Are These Rumors Coming From? Did you hear the one about Michael? Did you hear the one about Mochify? <laughs> you talking about rumors. Listen, let's get the facts. This is not an American Express card we're giving folks. It's a prepaid debit card mm -hmm. only for food and baby supplies, mm -hmm. not Coke 45. This oh. is for food and baby supplies. Pop, 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 pop. See, I don't 
like that. Because, see, this, this whole giving the debit cards to the immigrants and stuff that are flooding New York, that are getting dropped off from Texas and, and you know, and they're getting dropped off in D.C. Coke 45, what Latina, what brown people do you know drink Coke 45? That was Corona. So what is he saying here? Like, we're not immigrants. We live here. But go ahead, Eric, go ahead. It's, the, it's, the, it's y'all money in New York. Go ahead, go ahead. Into local economy, like bodegas, grocery stores, and supermarkets. We don't want people buying food outside the city, right in our local economy, local hiring. Avoids food waste. People are not throwing away food because they're getting the food that they are buying and what they want. Saves more than 600,000 taxpayer funds a month which equals 7.2 million a year. They are getting an average of $13 a day per person. It's saving us bucks, even 50 cents. How do week. I apply? How do I apply? Let me see these comments. They said it's gonna save the taxpayers money, but the taxpayers are still paying for it. So how? Tasha, thank you. I'm from New York City and it's getting out. It's getting crazy. The rats got more rights than people. How the rats, come on now. How the rats get better food, better housing. The rats don't go to jail. They don't have to worry about for the police. And yet they infested everything. Come on, Eric. Am I pregnant? Not yet. Listen. <laughs> I don't know why y'all think big titty women are always pregnant. When you have been born, and you know what's so funny is I did a poll like this on Instagram one day, and I'm like, anybody but real with real big titties that got a wide back to match them, this is how we stand. We stand like this because the titties is heavy. We have a wide, heavy back to hold the titties back. So therefore, I look pregnant all the time. I'm supposed to be pregnant all the time. That's why God gave me big titties so I can nurse the community. So it's a compliment. Thank you. Now listen, back to what we were saying here. I'm just saying, Eric. <laughs> How does the rats have more rights than people? How is it that people that just got here got more rights and no taxes than the people that's here? Yacht, him and, and Inside Joe, and it start with a G. Jen, O, Side, Joe. Give me everybody money with the folks that live here. Would you imagine your mom and daddy just giving out money to the community and just leaving you hungry? It's tax season, y'all. What are you doing giving our tax dollars away? Why are you asking me to pay taxes? See, they're going to make me get on welfare too. It seems better there. It's better there. But you know, hey. Hey. And, and another thing, the homeless. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. How the hell y'all get a homeless cell phones, but you won't give them a bank card? Why? I mean, is it profitable to be homeless? Eric, Eric, New York is number two to California with this homelessness. How do you skip over the homeless people and give the rats and the illegal immigrants more than what you get the folks that are sleeping on the ground in your city? See, this is why I'm, uh, I'm not for the games today. You know what? I'm finna, I'm finna get, I'm, I'm finna run. I'm finna run. And I'm gonna get money to everybody except those that don't work here. You don't work, you don't eat. <sighs> Moving on. <sighs> this is funny. This is funny. Okay. Now, a lot of these topics that you're seeing were supposed to be on TashaKLive.com, but we've edited them down. <laughs> I'm editing them as I speak, not cussing, not using certain verbiage and stuff, not really going there. Um, 
And so we decided to bring them over here because this was the show I was supposed to do on Monday. And then on TashaKLive.com, we're going to go and unwind Monique over there. Okay. Matter of fact, I think we got Usher and his wife got to go to TashaKLive.com too because I just got some wine on that. But we're going to leave Usher here, but Usher and the wife. Okay. That's got to go to TashaKLive.com. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to TashaKLive.com to see that. Before you, we, we put her up real quick. I have to rub it in. I said during our last show, was it Fuckery Friday? And y'all dragged me bad because I dragged Monique. I said, I'm a, we're going to revisit this in a year, and we're going to see how quickly everything changes. And surprisingly, it only took three days. <laughs> learn to make up your mind and pick a side. I thought we were standing for Monique. I thought we were standing on business, but she out here. How? How? How did? Normally, it takes a few years for what I say to come out to be right, but this time, the universe is working a lot faster. <laughs> Everybody wrong when they deal with Monique. Everybody. I'm looking at these comments on her page of y'all dragging her. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, can, I get, can I please, you know what, Jasmine, roll the music. Can I please get a sorry? Can I please get a I'm sorry? Please, please, please. I want to see the comments. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Hi! Hi, okay. Thank you for this award. Okay. All right, all right. So, thank you so much. Everybody quiet down. Everybody quiet down. All right, shut the music off. I want to thank first, thank God in my brain for thinking and reading. I also want to thank Casarilla Diablo for giving me the courage to go in on that bitch. And I asked y'all, and we're going to elaborate when we get the videos over there in TashaKLive.com because it's going to get pretty brutal over there. We're talking mother to mother, black woman to black woman, comedian to comedian, worker to non-worker. Monique should be given one of them cards by Eric Adams. <laughs> it's going to get brutal on TashaKLive.com, but I just had to rub it in. Because I was going to do it here, but I said, nah, 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 nah. Because I want that last message to sit. Because everybody's celebrating too soon after they was like, you always dragging down. I'm like, how am I dragging down a black woman? She drugged down herself. Took a song with her. <clears throat> now, although they are two separate issues, but see, when you sit down and you do interviews about this young man, and he doesn't have a platform, and so you get to put out your narrative, but then when he comes back, on his own platform, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is everybody's platform. Now, there's a problem. Daddy, get him! Beat his ass, daddy! Man, listen, we'll talk about that. TashaKLive.com. I just wanted to rub it in, though. All right, so let's, let's rub it in. So people, you know what? And I have, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I got to tell y'all something. I really got to tell y'all something. We're going to put her, you can put her back up. Who's seen the Smiley interview on TashaKLive.com? Put the comments up real quick. Who's seen the Smiley Zeus interview on TashaKLive.com? Who's seen it? I need to know. Who's seen it? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Okay? Now, I'm waiting on y'all to come in. Who's seen it? So, 
Because this ties into this story here. The reason I didn't want to put out that interview, but unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, I have a platform, and that's the give and take of the platform, is that it's open to everybody, right? As long as they tell their truth. Now, there was a moment in that interview where I sat back. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. We need every bit. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Um, there's a moment, and I'm leaving her picture up for a reason. But you guys asked me, said, Tasha, how did you let her sit in front of you and say the N-word so much so comfortable? You remember that was the main comment on that interview. And there wasn't even, there was even another interview that I did. What was the girl name? I can't even think of her name. She came in, she did an interview, she wrote a book on being a bad bitch, but it didn't have no words inside the book. I swear to God, I swear to God, she was holding the book close. It's on TashaKLive.com. Her name is Blue Jasmine. That's her name, Blue Jasmine. And she's basically telling women how to be a bad bitch. And I asked her how much she's made over her bad bitch days, and she couldn't tell me how much she made. She said she don't know. But it's not a lot because her shoes were scuffed during the interview. And like I said, there was no pages in the book, and she was trying to sell a book. And she sat in front of me, and I challenged her because she kept saying, I only date ingas, I only date ingas, I only date and, 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 and then sat in the same tongue and said to me that her family, because she is of Latin descent, do not like black people. And her family did not want her to date black people. Be, and they refer to black people, even black people that are in their community, because let's not get it mistaken, Latinas, there are Afro-Latinas that have darker skin. They are the butt of racist jokes and things like that. But for somebody to come over and use that rhetoric, knowing that they use it in hate in their house and think they're going to sit in front of me and use it, I give them the platform for y'all. I really do. I give them the platform for y'all. Because I can say it all day, but when that, during that Smiley interview, here's the thing. There was a moment where I sat back, and it ain't had nothing to do with everything but music. Nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with the audacity that you come and you sit here, and you so openly use the N-word, knowing that you are of Latin descent, and in the same sentence, they use the word monkey and things like that. And that's, that's, this is not her case. But to a lot of people that want to say that, oh, you know, Latinas are black. Yeah, their skin color is black. But are you really black? Were you slaves? Let them tell you. Let's go. Sonny. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican. You know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. We're done here. We're done here. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay? And to the black men, listen, date who you want to date. White men, date who you want to date. Lord knows I'm going to date who I want to date. But when you constantly pillow talk with Latin women and let them call you the N-word and you lay up with them and they call the police on you and they report the police and say, this, Nick. And then they try to sit in your face and say, you know what, I'm black too. No, you're not. You're not. And so the reason I didn't want to put out that interview is because I thought y'all was going to catch me in a moment. I was really, like, and Jasmine them know it, I wanted to whoop her ass. When I sat back in the chair, because I don't do that clickbait clout shit. I just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real drown here. And I said, this is going to be the last time. And I said, Lord knows. I created this platform so that everybody could tell their truth. But it's a, it's a line that's got to be, it's a line that's got to be drawn. It's got to be drawn. And this will be the last person that will sit on my platform of Latina descent and use the word, and use the N word so freely without catching an ass whooping on camera.
And thank you to that, that what was that black woman named that slapped the shit out of Smiley? What was her name? You put her down now. I'm just, I just wanted to use her as a reference, okay? Yeah. What was that black woman? What was that black woman? She was like, I told you, I told you to handle business. I, I wanted to tweet that and say thank you. <laughs> she didn't call her no nigga that day. She sure didn't. See, this is the type of topics that go on TashaKLive.com. I can't even say the word. I have to mute myself out of respect. But moving on. What'd you say? Biggie? Yeah, her name Biggie that slapped it. Thank you, Biggie. And please, y'all, DM Biggie for me and ask her. that I would love to fly her in and have her tell her story of what it was like slapping that clout chasing that. Because <laughs> Lord knows I wanted to do it. I'm telling you, it was going to be see this world in Miami again. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, listen, I'm not the one. All I do is squat and bitch press. Don't play with me, okay? Don't play. Don't let this gown from Senegal fool you. Well, sorry, Ivory Coast. Don't let it fool you. Moving on. Hope y'all enjoying the show thus far, okay? Happy Valentine's Day. I am here on Lover's Day passing love to y'all, okay? My husband is at the house watching UFC. All right, let's go. Jada Pinkett, speaking of no love. Mm. Fat Joe here. <laughs> oh, no, Zampic. Has, um... Apparently, I guess she wants us to believe that she somehow scared off two intruders in her home. Not, not G.I. Jane. No, no, Jasmine. No. <laughs> so apparently, uh, two intruders jumped on her balcony and proceeded to, I guess, rob her. I don't know, take it from her. And sh they saw her and, and took off the way that. Will Smith recently did and replaced her with a lookalike. <sighs> Y'all saw him down here in my city with a with a Jada lookalike, what she used to look like. I said, see how they be doing folks around here? What's that? These men say we're gonna keep the brand on brand. This is the J this is not the Jada that I married. This is the one that Mark Anthony screwed. Don't, don't, So J.I. Jane kicked somebody off of her balcony and stopped them from breaking into her home. But my question is, where was your husband and where was your security? It's California. Y'all got to know by now, these, they coming for these Rolexes and watches and stuff. You got to know. You know, and there's a lot of celebrities out here that tell you that they done got robbed. And I know personally that they robbed themselves and filed fake insurance claims. That's why I'm being sued right now. Listen to me. Uh, <laughs> so in her case, she wants us to believe that it was real. Mm -hmm. And that... Fat Joe on Ozempic scared him off, okay? Pray for her. And I just want to know, where, where, where was your life partner? Oh, he was protecting the, the clone Jada. Not this one, the clone Jada. I swear I thought this was a... Moving on. Moving on. After the break, coming up, we got Usher, Alicia Keys. I really wanted to play that song for Alicia Keys, but they'll shock the channel. But we're gonna talk about it. Definitely gonna talk about Jermaine Dupri, uh, Ludacris, Lil John, T Pain, Shannon Sharp versus Mike Epps, as well as Dr. Umar Johnson, okay, being confronted by a random woman at one of his shows. She was so passionate. He claimed he didn't know her. We shall talk about that. All of that and more coming up on right after the break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bully raise a glass too. Let's go. The winos are really gonna get a kick out of this wine today that we're gonna be spilling, okay. you know. But we got jet setting Jasmine, we got King Noir. Y'all are married, you pleasing people's wives, and you are a fetish teacher. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. This mm -hmm. is crazy. Before we really get into <laughs> like what you each do, break down the dynamics of what a polyamorous relationship is. And you're in a polyamorous marriage, yes. So, 
polyamory, when you break it down, is to the root word. Poly is many, or more is love. So... Now, has there ever been a couple where you showed up and you'd be like, nah, I can't do this? I don't think so. You make it happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very much, I'm very much an exhibitionist. Jasmine is a sexual opportunist. Yes. <laughs> what is a sexual opportunist, Jasmine? So I'm always looking for opportunities for sexual pleasure that's going to enhance my sexual exploration. A good time for me, I'll damn near try anything once or twice. Anything? If I wasn't a sexual opportunist, um, and I would not have allowed myself to have this experience, would have been putting my foot in someone's asshole. Like that was really extreme. Even though you're sex workers, do you have a sex addiction? So, let oh, that's a good one. So now, were these yes. black girls or white girls? Black. Really? See yeah, that that that's the that is the stigma. Like, you know, that's in the in the field that black women don't. We've done parties for everyone from church groups to strippers. To, Wait a minute. And, and here's the thing. Hold up. What's the most you guys have ever been paid for a service each? I think since I've been in this in in this realm of work, the most I've ever gotten paid as a sex worker has been. So we got Dom and the Body back in the wine cellar. Hey. So you went viral. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got a video right now. Millions and millions of views. You came for every day. Hard working man. You told them, uh, I guess um, they're not a high value man if they work at uh, Wendy's, Arby's, the post office. Um, you got a lot of backlash for that a video. Lot. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy. What made you make that video? Um, okay, so my thing was, right? So what is your type? What are you looking for in a man? Money. <laughs> That's the first starting. Point. I thought you was gonna say clean blood, child. Listen, that's clean my first blood. Clean blood. I'm not a vampire. Yeah, no, clean I blood. No blood. I want him to be healthy. Oh no, yes. that's even better if he's not healthy. <laughs> have you talked to Q? I have. That's some, and I really wanted him to show up to the reunion because, like, when he body slammed you, I was I was upset. Um, you told that man get out your room. Yeah. And he body slammed you. Mm -hmm. And um. I think, I wish it would have went different. You had sex with that man after he body slammed you? Okay, wait a minute. Like I said, wait, hold on. <laughs> have you had any marriage proposals? Absolutely. How many, child? Please, give Three. us. Huh? Three. Three? Yeah, in one. And they know your, your history, your It's so background. crazy because one of the marriage proposals was from if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage then be sure to join me in naples florida march 3rd at the off the hook comedy club and march 10th in atlanta georgia at the uptown comedy corner tickets on sale right now link in the description box as well as in the bio and don't you worry i'm bringing the wine and teddy damn it okay see y'all soon and <laughs> Okay, who got they tickets? Naples, Florida. I see y'all running them up, okay? I'm calling the club. I'm getting the day counts. Y'all coming out pretty thick, all right? Naples, Florida, March 3rd. Atlanta, Georgia, March 10th. Indianapolis, April 7th. We're at the Helium Comedy Club. So if you in Indiana, Chicago, anywhere around there, y'all need to go and get y'all tickets. We ain't got but 200, okay? Baltimore, Maryland, April 14th. San Francisco, April, 20, uh, April 21st. May 12th, Virginia Beach for Mother's Day. Charlotte, North Carolina, May 26th. Temple, Florida, June 9th. June 16th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. June 30th, Raleigh, North Carolina. July 14th, Orlando, Florida. And Tulsa, Oklahoma, September 15th. And Houston's date will be coming up soon, okay? And we are in negotiation with St. Louis, okay? So stay tuned. And Cleveland, Ohio, I believe, all right? So those are the three that we have to add, but those will be in September, October. So y'all need to head on over to TashaKOnStage.com, TashaKOnStage.com, and you can book your tickets directly from the site. Once they're out, they're out. We're not doing multiple shows and things like that because I got to get back here to work. I'm not neglecting this job. All right, and don't forget, we're running a talent contest in each city. Y'all still need to email me, so we're going to pull up in your city for the show, 30 minutes before the show. It's going to be dedicated to y'all. 
exposing y'all talent on stage. The winos are going to vote. So is Teddy. The winner gets a cash prize. So please hit me on winewithtashak at gmail.com or you can hit me through Tasha K on stage.com. Okay, I can't wait to see y'all. Now, let's go on and get into this. And I told him to bring Usher and his wife back. We'll talk about her after we're, we're done here, okay? Black History Month, let's go. So, um, Usher, I knew he was gonna get this, okay? Congratulations to Usher for getting the Super Bowl. I didn't like that he worked for $631, but when I saw the numbers that Kanye West uh, brought in, he spent $7 million on an ad, didn't have no commercial, I mean, didn't have enough money to film the ad, okay, and just said Yeezy.com sold everything for $20, the same price as my tickets on Tasha K, Tasha K on stage.com, all right, $20 tickets, that man made $19.9 million, all right, and so Usher's streams are through the roof, I know y'all saw me online debating whether it was Usher or Chris Brown, I initially voted Chris Brown because Usher's songs are quite dated. Are they classics? They are, but they're dated, all right? And him and everything but music are running around doing the same songs, but you know what? He grew up with us. And so I was proud to see this moment. I really was. I didn't have any issues except for the issue with Alicia Keys, but the NFL has since fixed that, all right? Um, she cracked on the first note. <laughs> I wanted to play it, but they would have. <laughs> I probably could have took the first 10 seconds because she was like, ah! and then it was like, something. How, how did it go, Jasmine? I forgot how it went, but she cracked the first note, okay? And um, she let Usher fill up on us. I said, Usher always filling up on somebody woman, but we'll never see him filling up on his. We'll talk about her in a minute, okay? Always filling up on all these black women, but the one you're supposed to be filling up on, we can't find her. You just introduced her during the wrong time of the month. But we're going to talk about that. Jermaine Dupri joined him on stage looking like Boss Baby. <laughs> his vegan diet is working. His skin is shining. I said, his hair don't even grow no more. That's how you know he on a good diet. He getting plump. He on a carbohydrate, vegan diet, you know what I'm saying? He came out so fast, and it's the socks. It's the dress socks for me. Do y'all know? Listen, true story. Lynette, and I know she watching right now. Lynette, from the time that I was, and this is probably why I roast people all the time. She had a lot to do with this. From the time I was five years old, when I moved, when did I move with Lynette? Five or seven? I can't remember. It was between five and seven years old. Okay, when I moved with my mama, because I was living with my grandmama, that's a tradition in our family. The kids live with their grandmama. Okay, they get that thing, you know, they get the roots in them. Um, she used to buy us dresses. And anybody from Bay County that's watching this that went to school with me, she bought all of our dresses, me and my sisters, and she made sure that we was matching. We had on the same flower dress, and she bought four dresses that she rotated from the dollar store, and we had them same socks that Jermaine Dupree got on right there, and we had the same shoes, okay? And I wore these dresses from the time that I was seven all the way up through middle school. Do you know? Lynette wanted to make sure that we was pure and that we stayed pure. Nobody wasn't looking at us in no flower dresses. <laughs> And we could tap dance in them damn shoes. And they was at fake plastic level. And sometimes they would talk because we warm in the ground. But the socks would be dirty when we came home. They would have brown rings, dirt rings around them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she did us like that. I was just like, I don't know why Jermaine Dupree came out. That The one moment you had to really show us who Jermaine Dupree, this is what you wear. Who, who dressed him? I need to know who dressed him. I know he had to be gay. It's Atlanta. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Huh? Pharrell dressed? Like I said, I know he had to be gay. Listen. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was good to see Atlanta on the map. They should have gave it to him when they was actually in Atlanta. Okay? Ludacris. <sighs> Didn't he play in the movie Transformer? Jackson Ferris, but he looked like, yeah. I... It, I <sighs> Moving on. Now this was surprising. This right here was surprising. Whose idea it was to put Lil John in that pile? I said, this ain't, I didn't even, 
even recognize Lil John. He looked like Ty Dolla Sign. I just, I, I. I was excited to see him. And I was like, what is Ty Dolla Sign doing up there? What is he doing? I just, I don't know. T Pain came out shooting shots. Oh, I forgot about, uh, uh, yeah, T Pain. He, he's asked for uh, the next Super Bowl to be his. I said, now you know Jay Z don't like you. Now I don't even know why you saying you got enough hits. It needs to be yours. And I'm like, you know, you remember Jay Z cannot, he can't stand you or the auto tool that you brought to the industry. You remember him burning auto tool? Like, what was he burning in the video when he was dissing you and ended your career? Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. He got some classics now because I'm from Florida and I know he's from T-Town. Shout out to Tallahassee. However, Jay-Z did end you. You went crying, went depressed, got depressed and everything. We ain't heard from you until now you're trying to beg the same man that ended your career for a job like he going to get to you. Not going to happen, T. Not going to happen, okay? I'm sure you could open up for a basketball game, maybe a baseball game, but not today. Now, Usher and his wife, after he did such a magnificent job bringing us these classics, working hard. Like I said, I went to the residency. I saw Usher. He definitely deserved it. Even though Nicki Minaj should have been on that field. That's a whole nother story. Don't get me started on that right now. So you bring Alicia Keys as opposed to Nicki. That's fine. And Nikki getting ready to go on tour. That's okay. That's okay. Alicia hasn't sung in 10 years. That's why her voice is gone. That's fine. But surprisingly, after such a monumental moment, he gets married. Yeah. Now, I don't know if y'all know it's Black History Month, but she ain't black. Why she dressed black? Why she got baby hairs like she black? Why she got a weave, a quick weave in her head? This lady not black, don't let him fool you, and she not even Latina. <laughs> I said, Usher, we have worked hard as a people, and they don't let you cross over to the other side. You've been married to black women your whole life, but the moment you get that one moment, you want to overshadow it with an Elvis Presley wedding to his daughter? Because that's what she looked like. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. He could have married her in March. Now was not the time. This is not the month. I knew she was white anyway when I saw her at the residency and she had on no army fatigue pants out there looking like Rachel Dolezal with a flat ass. I, I knew it. I said, this ain't no, this, this is not. Now, I know he don't like black women no more because black women sued him for them alleged bumps and stuff like that. But that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's got everything to do with you and all them random women and alleged men that you were sleeping with. I, I just wanted to congratulate you. I don't know why she got a, she'd been a baby mama, what would have changed? I don't know, I don't know. I'm just not here for it, I'm not. I'm not, not during this month, okay? This month is our month, the one month we got to shine, and this is who you bring, and she got you wearing all white on your wedding. Move it up, <clears throat> move it up, all right. Netta and Mike Epps. <laughs> I find it now. I did hear that they have since made up. Uh, even though I just, I, it's never really real. I don't know if Shannon Sharp got what it takes out here to really take this heat from these from these celebrities. I don't know. I don't know. This is a whole different lane. I'm gonna see how this is gonna work out. Now him. Now I tell Carisha been gone too long, and he kind of came in and took over where Carisha please. You know what I'm saying? Was dominating at and stuff. And, you know, he's getting some really, really good interviews. But I just, 
You know, that Cat Williams interview, he could have did that on his own YouTube channel and it still would have got them numbers. You know what I'm saying? There's no hate and no shade. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Like, I just, I want to see how far this is going to go because when Mike Epps decides as a comedian to get on stage and, and roast you and call you everything that the world has been calling you, including me, and that's why I'm, I'm blocked. Hell, I saw his boyfriend behind the scenes at, uh, at the NFL on a golf cart. Only Beyonce and those type of stars ride on a golf cart. Why is Shannon Sharp's stylist riding on a golf cart? Why is Shannon Sharp's stylist, the Hollywood Moogler, sitting courtside with him at basketball games? Only wives pick out clothes. Only women like mess. And I didn't see anything that Mike said wrong to you because he was doing it in his, in his venue. You are the most talked about person. Go ahead, Mike. Show him. That nigga Sandy Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. <laughs> So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'm sitting down, nigga. I thought he was going to attack cat, that nigga there. The nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on that nigga and tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. Shut up. Shut up. They exposing every motherfucking body. They got T.D. Jakes fucked up. Now that's fucked up. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Now whether he misconstrued the details, it was a joke. He set it up. He delivered a punchline. It was funny. You out here doing interviews, you got to take the good and the bad with that. I get dragged every day for getting in people's business. And now you out here, you in a lane, you dominating, you say you coming for Joe Rogan, you have got to have the balls to do it. You can't be out here with no pussy. And doing your hands like this, because look at his, look at Shannon Sharp responding. Look at Shay Shay responding. Go ahead. Go ahead. And grab it though. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna put this out there. Uh-huh. And this one, I'm gonna fire this shot over your head, Mofo. Uh -huh. And you will know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah. Mention my name, mention my name again. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the DMs. I'm gonna put I'm and I don't like doing this. Yeah. But you're lying. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You can say I'm gay and you can say I'm I don't care about that. Because yeah. I won't chase a lie. But yeah. I won't let you know. Yeah. Now you ain't that my line. Never chase a lie. Go. To say all that other stuff, I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. I don't look. <laughs> I heard that a thousand times. <laughs> yes, Just like everybody Pause, jumping in the chat. That's why you blocked me. It bothers him to the asshole, boy, to the core. Let's go. go ahead. A thousand times. Yes, Just sir. like everybody jumping in the chat, talking about, oh, he don't like number white women. Right. I done dated a lot of different races. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, you like Skittles now. You eat every color. Come on, mm -hmm. talk to me now. No, I don't eat. On. I don't eat. Now, I don't eat or suck. Oh, yeah. Pa, 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 pa. Now, see, that's very telling. Now, what man you know that don't eat? They don't eat it because they don't like it. Y'all can read it between the lines. Go ahead. No, I don't Come eat. On. I don't eat. Now, I don't eat or suck. You yeah, I don't do eat. all that. You know what I mean? That's why I said Skittles. Skittles. Pops, okay, pops, pops, okay. Pops, pops, pops. Stay, I'm, I'm with you. He looked you know? at it because he want to be it. Shay, Shay. Go ahead, go. I look at Ocho. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm telling, yeah. I'm, te I'm telling you this, and I want you, to, and I want somebody to send it to you. And y'all been, I've been seeing it in the chat. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you talking say, about, but I'm with you. I'm a, nigga, say I'm, my name again. I'm gonna release the DMs because yeah. you're lying. Yeah, you said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you a mofo lie. Now when I, I see you, yeah, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see if you about that. Okay, I'm gonna see if you want to say what you've been saying on yeah. trying to get some jokes. Because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm gonna see if you really about that. Yeah, and when I when I when I see you, nah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna no. see if him talking all that. Yeah, when he wore them tight ass leather pants, trying yeah. to be funny. 
Yeah. Pop, but I'm going to see if you buy that. Now, I know he ain't talking about nobody in no tight leather pants. And his woman out here sitting courtside with him dressing him in diamond leather pants. Stop, Shay. Let's go. Yeah. Say my name again. Say, now, be, hey, say, be like yeah. Destiny's Child and talk about say my name, say my name. And hey, I got some. LGBTQ, I need y'all to rise on up for a second. Come on. Come on, LGBTQ. I need y'all to rise on up. Let's go. Did you rewind that part? Did you rewind that part? Go. Yeah. Say my name again. Now man, be and, hey, say, be like yeah. Destiny's Child and talk about say my name, say my name. Pa, hey. Only that. Now we all know who Beyonce fans are. Go. I yeah. got something for your ass. Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost, but I'm with you. And whoever who and he got something for that. Hey. Cause he like ass. He ain't no pussy. But he he like ass. Go ahead. Whoever you talking about it, we go. We go. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm with like I said, yeah. all that all for first of all, them saying I'm gay and this or that, it ain't affecting my bottom line. I'm, I'm gay. I'm the fact that his own friend sitting there clowning him and don't even take him serious because he know. He knew when he said he don't even like women living with him. But that little boy be fine. I'm telling you, y'all got to go to Hollywood Mooga Plays. He has all the wine. I mean, he got Shannon. <laughs> Who travels with their personal stylist everywhere? Not only that, the personal stylist, If I, let's just say, I travel with my hairstylist, right? We're going... <laughs> I just don't understand why we would be sitting courtside together as a couple. Because you know they put the big cam on the couples. So why is he dressing you, feeding you in your house, taking pictures of your butt, like he's taking videos of your butt? Y'all got to go to the page, I'm telling you. I've even talked to the boy. He was like, Tasha, please. He really likes He really likes women. He has a girlfriend. I said, well, who is, who is the girlfriend, Hollywood? Who is the girlfriend? What's her name? I can't tell you her name because it's you. Who who gets box seats as a as a personal stylist to the NFL to the Super Bowl? Only wags do. You know what a wag is? Let's go. I've been happy for for years. It ain't affecting my bottom line. Now, if it'll start to affect my bottom line, right. then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make y'all put. I'm gonna put you make you put your cars on the table. Yeah. It ain't gonna That's be no flush gonna either. You ain't gonna. You ain't I'm gonna make you no put flush. your cars on the table. But that don't bother me. Is that you lied mm -hmm. and you didn't have to? Pause, pause. That's what comedians do. They tell lies. They tell lies for jokes. They in fact they 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 inflate stories. That's what they do. They make some more funnier. I, I just don't see what the issue is. And they're they're your bottom line. The comedians are your bottom line. If you're gonna be in this lane. You have to be able to take the criticism. Not everybody's going to like what you do. Not everybody's going to be attracted to you like your man is. Not at. I just don't get why are you cussing out the customer? I just don't get it. You don't cuss out the customer until after you render service. We're done here. Now, apparently, what you doing? You so I hate you. Stop. What are you doing? And then you dressed up. No, you gonna come? You came this far? No, come on. Come on. No, they need to see you. Please. I know, but just say hi. Will you tell them? They can't hear you. Come here. Let it let let them see the suit, baby. Come on, baby. Why are you so shy? Come on. Aww. <laughs> so you going to take time to out? Oh, he's a good dad. Thank you, baby. Aww. Okay. It don't make <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Teddy, hold these for me, okay? Just hold these. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Anyway. I love that. He doesn't celebrate Valentine's with me because, well, this is a form of celebration, but he always takes our daughter out. That's what I love about him because he wants her to know what it's like for a man to really love on her and treat her. So he'll send her flowers to school, balloons to school and stuff like that. 
I just love that. So he's going to take her out. He's all dressed up. He got on his suit. He got a pink shirt underneath. Shaq is the man. <laughs> Sorry. He going to get some tonight. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. I got to. All right. Speaking of Valentine's, okay, Dr. Umar. Now, see, you got to be weary of these men that ain't never got no women around them. Shay Shay. Okay. But when women start popping up randomly, and you always speaking for the black woman, what the black men need to do, how the black woman need to be treated, I don't white walk. I said, not a white walker. He said, I don't white walk. I don't snow bunny hop. I don't bunny hop. I don't do none of that. But you got to be weird because I was like, he's never introduced a wife, a girlfriend, a woman, but he has so much to say about how women need to be in relationships and how men need to be to black women in relationships. And to see this woman show up out of nowhere during one of his sermons in one of his cities, this happened six days ago, and I've talked to a few of the members that was at this event. Homegirl rolled up and said, let's just let's go ahead and play with what, what, what she said. Let's go ahead and go. Go. I don't see white folks breaking their back. They already been there, done that. It's your turn now. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? Right back. Homegirl, now listen. Now you know ain't no random woman just go walk in there with her purse strapped to her. And when she approaches the man, she said, How those the purse? I got you. <laughs> It's the old nigga, keep going, keep going, let's go. Because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? You want to keep saying I've never seen this since that day. Paul, 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 now what she said was, you wasn't saying that yesterday. So apparently she's claiming that he was with her yesterday. And this is what made her show up to his event to show out. Goodness. Yes. 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 I want it. We want to stay focused. Pause, pause. Let me see these comments. Now, see, this is a man that's always talking about protect the black woman. Love the black woman. He let five men wrestle this black woman down and continued to say that she was Satan after he allegedly hit that pussy last night. Listen! Give it God! Give it God! Give it God! This y'all king, y'all. This y'all king. No!
I'm hoping that here in Black Wall Street, at this marketplace, that all the businesses and all the vendors that exist here will come together and give us a Black Wall Street credit union, brothers and sisters. The next step is the credit union. The reason we can't catch up, the reason we can't catch up is because we can't access the capital we need. Everybody in this audience right now, let me say 90% of you would leave your day job I need to be right There's a lot wrong with this. First of all, you as a black man that claims you should protect the black woman, why did you keep preaching? Why did you refer to her as demented? Why did you scream and say, I've never seen this woman before in my life, but you know, a person that's opening up a school for, for black boys that's being overdiagnosed with all these mental illnesses, you as a black man that's supposed to be a king that we serve and we look up to to protect us, allowed her to be escorted out by five men. And she just came to confront you about what had happened yesterday. I know Umar's type. Here's the thing. Now, do I have any proof that he laid pipe to her? But I've talked to several women that look just like her. He has a type. Sukiyana to be one. Listen to me. Holy <laughs> Matter of fact, we interviewed one. Y'all really think Umar is moving from city to city with all these lectures, and he ain't getting no pussy? If he ain't getting no pussy, then he must be getting some dick. I mean, we got to make it make sense. Like, the way she walked in there, she didn't walk in there with no gun or no knife. She walked in there ready to fight. She threw the purse. So if she did have some, it would have been in her hand. Play it one more time from the beginning. I don't see white folks breaking their back. They already been there, done that. It's your turn now. got this thing, brothers and sisters, and the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? Pop, she actually says he was in her bed yesterday. So this happened six days ago. So whatever city he had, he was in, apparently she thought that somebody that looked like Dr. Umar was with her yesterday. And like I said, I've interviewed a lady that looked just like her. Y'all got to stop with this ain't his type. Men don't give a damn if it's got a split in a hole and it can squeeze. And the bigger they are, the more moist it gets. They don't give a damn. He ain't going to see them no more. But this one decided things was going to be different. Now, if anybody knows who this young lady is, you tell her to call Auntie Tasha. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom of it, <laughs> and we're going to figure it out. Then the last one we interviewed looked just like her Jasmine. They got the same stature, the same color, same face. She may be a little bigger, but he like them thick. He like, that's good meat right there. He like them real good meat, looking like roast beef and shit. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dr. Umar. We're going to find out who that is. So y'all make sure if you knew her and you was at the event, because I was asking the people that told me about it, please let me know. But this is how she left. Look, look, go ahead. We finished the video. Yeah, go ahead. Somebody is here. That's not That's not That's not Somebody is here. That's not I just don't believe it. This man goes from city to city all the time. Why now? Why is she a black woman demented 
with an invisible knife. You are not Martin Luther King. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. I enjoyed mine even though I still got to work. My husband's on a date with her daughter. So you got me. Okay? Deal with it. <laughs> it's nice to have almost 8,000 people in here on Valentine's Day. Okay? Everybody ain't falling for that consumer day. That's all it is. Spending money. That's it. That's it. So, listen, we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com right now. And we're going to unwind Monique and her son and her life and her daddy. We're going to tell them why it all. It was just amazing how bad y'all was dragging me. And I told y'all, I don't give a damn. All of y'all to come back to say, I'm sorry, Tasha. I know. Listen. <sighs> listen, listen. So we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com and unwind that. We also got more topics that we're definitely going to cover. Let me go ahead and pull some of these up so you'll definitely know what's going on. We're also going to drop the interview with the twins who have different daddies tomorrow, okay, on TashaKLive.com. So make sure you subscribe to watch that interview there because it is messy, okay? So on TashaKLive.com, what do we have coming up? All right. Hold on. Let me make sure I get it. Just, I'm a little confused. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I ain't confused. I ain't confused. Okay. So who is it? Yeah, because we don't move these topics around. <laughs> hold on. Jasmine pulling them up. I'm going to tell you, oh, so we're going to be definitely talking about the pastor selling meth out of his church. Jamie Foxx and Bobby and Whitney, Tyrese, clout chasing the game, Taylor Swift and Travis, and Monique and her son, okay? And Monique and her son is going to take up the majority of the show because there's so many videos. And we're also going to definitely discuss Marcus and Larsa Pippen. And I said that on purpose. <laughs> Marcus and Larsa Pippen. All that more coming up at ontashkaylive.com at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Are we ready to go, Jasmine? Because we can immediately start on ontashkaylive.com. Okay, cool. All right, so listen, about 8.15, because Jasmine ain't set it up yet. All right, so real quick, uh, don't forget, we're coming to your city. Don't forget to get your tickets. They're $20. Tasha K on stage. We're bringing wine, gossip, and comedy for anybody that is asking, all right? We're going to start in Naples, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Indianapolis, Indiana. Where else are we going? Baltimore. Let me pull up this website. Okay. I got to remember, uh, probably by the end of this tour, I'm going to know all these cities by heart in order. Okay. San Francisco, which is Pleasanton, April 21st. Definitely going to be doing Virginia Beach, May 12th. Charlotte, North Carolina, May 26th as well as uh, Tampa, Florida, June 9th, June 16th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, June 30th, Raleigh, North Carolina, July 14th, Orlando, Florida, September 15th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and then the Houston, St. Louis, and Cleveland will be coming in later September and October, okay? Don't forget to get your tickets at TashaKOnStage.com. I see y'all packing out Naples and Atlanta so far, as well as Charlotte and Indiana. <laughs> So I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all for showing up and showing out, okay? Listen, and don't forget, we're having a talent show in each city. Don't forget, okay? Send me your demo. Tasha K. La, I mean, unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com, okay? And so send me your demo. Send me your talent. We'll select for the first 30 minutes of each show. You guys will get to perform in front of the audience. Once you do that, Teddy, as well as the Winos, will vote, and you'll win a cash prize. So don't forget, email me if you want to be a part of the Naples Talent Show, the Atlanta Talent Show, the Indianapolis Talent Show. These are the top three right now because these are the main ones that we're doing in March. And email me at unwindwithtashkay at gmail.com, okay? I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope that I made it a moment for y'all, especially if y'all home by yourself. Me too, but I'm with y'all, okay? And Teddy and Jazzy Faye, we're all here, all right? Hopeless romantics. If you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. If you have tips, hit us at uh, unwindwithtashaK at gmail.com or the DM. Please, y'all, find that lady, okay? who ran up on Umar and get back to me. Y'all got Keisha Chavez, the, uh, Joe Smith's uh, wife, real fast. Y'all need to go on and get her, all right? And I love you guys, and I'll see you right now on TashaKLive.com. Now I got to go. Bye!